shoot, I almost forgot to put up the controller. Oh my goodness, how bad would that have been? Uh, So we're on our way to the farmer's market. We're gonna try to do this just me with the boys. Um, Alex isn't able to go today. So we're gonna try to do this and hopefully we'll have a good time. What do you think, buddy? Um, I'll go to the zoo today. <laughs> you wanna go to the zoo today? Yeah. Maybe, maybe after the farmer's market. But this, this time, uh, they're gonna have hopefully some cherries. The email blast so that they would have some, but a lot of the times in the beginning of the season, you know, they only have like one thing of cherries and it's gone first thing at 8 a.m. So, might not happen, but even if it doesn't, it's a gorgeous day and it's always fun to go. Oh, I have a couple of markets. I'm going to the farmer's market and I'm going to today. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go to the farmer's market today? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ah. Okay, so we're here and all loaded up. You guys ready to go to the farmer's market? Yeah. Yeah, we've all got sunscreen. All right, let's go find some nummies. Yummy foods. So for lunch, we're gonna have this flatbread, which we've already started to eat. It's from Breadworks. It's prosciutto and tomatoes with some parmesan. Henry, what do you think of the flatbread? Um, good. Good? James, what do you think? Good. We've had a successful trip. I'll show you guys the haul in a little bit. Uh, probably when we get home, actually. Uh, we've got a lot. We got cherries and uh, breakfast sausage. If you ever come to, the, to Boulder, um, if you go to the farmer's market, definitely check out Black Hat. And if you go to out to eat, there's a restaurant uh, also called Black Hat, and they have a sister store right next door called uh, Bramble and Hare. We love both the restaurants. They're absolutely incredible. They're farm to table. So nearby, they have the farm with bacon and their cheesecake. Oh my goodness, if the cheesecake is on the menu, you have to get it. It's incredible. Even if you don't like cheesecake, it is the most incredible dessert I've ever had. Um, okay. They're wanting my attention, so I better. I'll go for a little bit. And I'll fill you in more on what amazing things we've got. Uh, we absolutely love Farm at Market. <laughs> oh, do you need some water? Here. These straps are great for when we're walking around. They hold their water bottles, but tricky to do with one hand. Um, there, we go. there we go. So it's actually getting a little hot now so we're gonna head home uh, to have a snack and take naps and then maybe go to the park later. But I wanted to show this. We're in a parking lot and this is the view. I love Boulder. I love being here. It's such a positive, happy place. I mean, how can you be grumpy with a view like that? Those are the flat irons from a parking lot. I mean, that's insane to have such a view while you're turning on your car. Oh my goodness. I just, I love it here. So we're going to head home um, and in, keep enjoying our day. It is such a gorgeous Saturday. Is there anything better than spring? Because if there is, I don't know what it is. <laughs> spring in Denver, man, or right now in Boulder. It is fantastic. Uh, yeah, my goodness. Gorgeous. Oh, shoot, I almost forgot to put up the controller. Oh my goodness, how bad would that have been? Uh, and all the food, all of our yummy, delicious food. Oh. Let me give you guys two tips for farmer's market. One is to get an insulated bag. Even if you don't take it with you while you're at the farmer's market, at least when you're at your car, you can put in all of the frozen stuff. Uh, the other tip is if you're gonna get a large thing of fruit, this is a huge thing of spinach. I'm so excited about that. Um, I got a large thing of cherries, but I didn't want to, I wanted to get them for home, but also for the boys to snack on. You see them? Oh, there they are. Um, absolutely amazing. They're from Morton's Orchard. I also got their jam. So good. 
Okay, back to my point though. Um, so I got this huge thing of cherries and I wanted the boys to be able to snack on them, but I didn't want to give them this huge bag. So I asked for two smaller bags. I was able to just put a few of them in here and they could hold them themselves and uh, eat them all in the stroller. And I didn't have to worry. This is actually for my snack. I only put like three or four of them in there so that if they dropped it, it wasn't a huge deal. It would be a bummer, but it wasn't going to be the whole, the whole thing of fruit. Um, I also wanted to show you, this is a cucumber we got from another place and it became a snack. I just, I love coming here. I love the boys meeting the farmers who actually grow this. They put it, the seeds down, they weed it, they grow it. So they have a lot of pride. And then the boys get to see these farmers with pride and uh, be more excited about eating these veggies and fruits. So those are my two tips, insulated bag for your cold things and smaller bags to divvy out the snacks. Um, and then just enjoy it. It's amazing. Talk to the farmers. Um, talk to them. Ask them questions. This is their passion. It's not like they're passionate about this. That's why they're doing it. And you can see that when you talk to them. You can see that when you're asking just advice of I bought some bread from a place called Breadworks and I went to another stand that's selling tomatoes and I was telling them that what I like to do is take big slices of, uh, of bread and put tomatoes on and mozzarella. And so I was asking advice on which tomatoes to try and the guy got so excited. He was just telling me about the different varieties of tomatoes and we ended up getting a purple one, which I can show you um, here. We got this amazing purple tomato that I am so excited about. Um, I don't know if you can tell that it's purple. Hopefully you can. And uh, we're just saying that it's a slightly sweet one, so it's gonna taste good with the mozzarella. It'll be one that the boys will hopefully like. Um, and it's purple, so it's a fun, different thing to try. So yeah, it's really fun to talk to people who are so excited about food. And I love food, so. <laughs> so here's an overview of our uh, farmer's market haul. I'll do a video that's just these and I can go over um, what it all is and uh, where it's from. But yeah, it was a great trip to the farmer's market. We had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so now we're having our snack, we're having granola bars and yogurt. So I'm washing all of the cherries in a, just some water vinegar mixture. I like to get them all nice and washed and put away in the fridge. That way we can just nibble off of them, no problem. So